A compelling glimpse of our future was demonstrated last April in the Aegis flight test FTM-15 when we demonstrated for the first time launch on remote in a ballistic missile engagement. We used an SM-3 Block 1A interceptor and sensor data provided by a forward-based Antippe-2 radar to intercept an intermediate-range ballistic missile over the Pacific Ocean, the longest-range missile ever destroyed by Aegis BMD. This step was the first of many taken to demonstrate the feasibility of networking remote sensors for enhancing missile defense performance. FTM-15 accomplished another BMDS first. We sent Antippe 2Qs to two space tracking and surveillance system satellites, or STSS, allowing them to acquire and track the target from space, then transmitting their data back to the BMDS. This demonstration showed the potential of launching an interceptor based on remote space sensor data. Last July, in FTX-17, we successfully tracked a short-range air launch target using several remote missile defense sensors in California, including the Antippe-2 at Vandenberg Air Force Base and the Beale upgraded early warning radar. We again demonstrated with STSS that we could track the target from space and transmit data to the BMDS, where it could be fused with other tracking data sensors. In other tests, we conducted the first flight of the more advanced SM-3 Block 1B interceptor with the Aegis 4.0.1 fire control systems. While we did not intercept the SRBM target separating payload, FTM-16 demonstrated critical system functions to include the exceptional performance of the SM-3 Block 1B kinetic warhead, which allowed us to move forward with the certification of the Aegis BMD 4.0.1 computer program. We have learned from the FTM-16 results and will repeat the test this year. Last October, FTT-12 successful operational test showed for the first time badge capability to defeat two SRBMs launched in a raid scenario in their terminal phase of flight. In the future, if we are going to defeat ballistic missiles launched in large raid sizes, we will require adequate interceptor inventory and layered defenses. When missile defenses were used in February 2008 to destroy a large tank of toxic fuel on board an out-of-control U.S. satellite, MDA successfully leveraged tracking data supplied by several remote sensors with viewing opportunities of the satellite, which was traveling around 17,000 miles per hour. This geographically distributed sensor network included non-MDA sensors operated by the services and other national assets. Without this diverse remote sensing network, this one-of-a-kind intercept mission would not have been possible. Although it has been proven to be very effective against short and medium-range targets, when the SPY-1 is used as the sole sensor in a ballistic missile engagement, Aegis BMD capability is greatly enhanced when augmented with a network of remote sensors to engage IRBMs and ICBMs with the SM-3 Block II interceptors. One limitation inherent in many radars is the inability to see over the horizon or around the curvature of the Earth. This distance limitation is a significant physical reality when dealing with long-range threats which travel at very high speeds. By the time an extremely fast target object comes into viewing range of the SPY-1 radar, the window of time for launching an interceptor, which also has a limitation, its flight speed, is very narrow or may not exist at all. Because interceptors have a limit on how fast they can travel and radars have a limit on how far they can see, we have a physics problem. In order to expand the space for potential engagement, our C2 BMC will respond rapidly to threat detection and passes tracking information to system interceptors in real time. In order to overcome the physics problem posed by fast-moving targets, we will also have the ability to give the shipboard interceptor a head start. We need forward-deployed remote sensors extending out near the ballistic missile launch point to act as first sight sentries and pass that early target viewing information into the system C2 BMC for processing. Once this data is passed through C2 BMC to the interceptor on the Aegis BMD ship, which may be on station several thousand miles from the launch point, the Aegis weapon system can calculate the precise launch time. This will allow the ship to launch an interceptor even before its own SPY-1 radar can see it 
to put the interceptor on the predicted path of the target to destroy it. In the future, our ability to defeat multiple ballistic missiles of different ranges by intercepting them in the ascent, mid-course, and terminal phases of flight requires we develop capability to enhance our view of the entire battle space today. In our FTX-17 test involving multiple sensors, we demonstrated with the STSS satellites we could leverage viewing angles from space and pass tracking information into the system. Precision tracking space system satellites currently under development will give us a persistent sensor capability to detect and track threat launches from regions of concern. As the ultimate remote sensor network with a continuous high ground view of objects traveling through space, a constellation of PTSS satellites will provide persistent high precision real-time tracking of enemy ballistic missiles necessary to develop fire control solutions for the BMDS interceptors. Increased sensor networks are critical improvements the warfighter will need to conduct future missile defense engagements. International cooperation continues to be a hallmark of the U.S. Missile Defense Program. Our command and control, battle management and communications element, and NATO's advanced lower tier ballistic missile defense system demonstrated the ability to exchange sensor data for queuing and threat awareness thus extending the NATO sensor coverage. MDA continues to support research and development of advanced ground and space-based remote sensing technologies and investigate ways to improve its data fusion capability to further strengthen the nation's missile defense sensor network. Our collaboration with industry, government, and university research centers and international partners in this area is vital to the Missile Defense Agency's ability to fulfill its commitment to protect the United States homeland, U.S. forward deployed forces, and allied and friendly nations from the evolving ballistic missile threat. <laughs>